Corey here with The Mentored Engineer. In this video, it's gonna be a quick one. We're gonna talk about hanging the shelf. Now, what do you say is so special about this shelf? It's two supports and a board, right? Well, I have an overlap on each end, right? And there just has to be an ideal amount of overhang so that as I push down here with the distributed load all the way across the, the board, it's going to have the same moment here and it's going to have the same moment in the center. So what we're going to do is we're going to look up in a beam table uh, exactly what that is. And basically, uh, we can just look up this case. It's a simply supported beam, which is just what the shelf uh, supports are. Simply su simple supports. They're not taking moment or, or bending into them. And they're just sitting on top and we put a distributed load all the way across. So if we put our two supports at the end, what we're gonna have is bending in the middle and it's gonna sag in the middle. Well, that's not gonna help us. That's a poor use of our shelf. So what we wanna do is uh, move those supports inward so that the bending moment at the, at the support with the cantilevered part is the same as the center. And we can look that up in a beam table. We can look at the support moment as well as the center moment. And we want those two to be equal. So we get these equations from uh, any beam table. We'll have this. So we look at our beam table and we see uh, we have the variable A for the cantilevered and L is the distance between the boards. So what we'll do is we'll set these two equations equal to each other. And then we'll go ahead and solve for A. Now we find out that A is equal to L over the square root of two. But that's too much math. All right, let's simplify this down further. So what we have is we have the overall length of our board. So we wanna get the cantilevered length in terms of the overall length. So it's easy to measure and we can just go in there and drill some holes and hang it up. So the overall length is equal to two times A, the cantilever, plus the length between the supports. So when we solve for A, we find out that A is 0.207 times the overall length. So if I have a 50 inch beam, 20% is 10 inches. So I'm gonna have a 10 inch overhang and then I'm gonna have 30 inches in between the two supports. And it's a very simple rule of thumb. You want 20% overhang on each side. So one thing we need to take into account is, is shelves like this one that have one, two, three supports, okay? The, the equation doesn't work for them. Uh, you could still do the 10 inches of overlap, but you're not going to be off by much. So the trick here is that the center support here is going to be taking most of the weight. It's going to be taking the load halfway between here and halfway between here. And it's going to be taking all of that between those two points. So there's no real trick for that one, but you can still use the 20% on the side. So that's your mentored engineer tip of the week. So if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and give us a like and go ahead and share this with your friends as well. Thank you very much.